Hey gents, today we are going to do five date night styles with a little bit of emphasis on the upcoming Valentine's Day, but I love integrating a pop of red or a pop of color into almost any outfit, as long as you don't overdo it. So today we're gonna look at five looks, two from my own collection, and the other three I'm actually gonna do kind of like a shop along, a virtual shop along at tybar.com, which is today's video sponsor. So I'll link to each product and each look below, and then I'll have a companion blog as well if you want to check those out. As I've talked about the Thai Bar before, I've been a fan going back to 2012 when I had my first corporate job. I actually found the receipt from my very first Thai Bar order back in those days, and the Fleur de Lay products were actually my graduation look, because the Fleur de Lay is the logo for my college, the red is identical to my college colors, and I even got a compliment from Mr. President himself. And what's cool about this is I still have those products, they're still in my rotation. So the tie bar is one of the best places for value in ties, accessories, and shirting, especially if you're building out your collection, trying to figure out what your style is. So with that being said, let's jump into the looks. Okay, so I changed it up because I wanted to use this blazer and I also have a knit pocket square that matches this tie. I actually can't find this exact tie on tiebar.com right now, it's about five years old, but I linked to one that is very similar that I actually like a little bit more. And so this is actually gonna be my Valentine's Day outfit. And this is a tie bar shirt, I really like it. And I really like having the red, the blue, and all of the knit textures on there. So now time to go shopping. Okay, I am definitely going to use those socks. Basically gonna build a look around these. Those are pretty cool. I have a pair of red socks from Tie Bar with a floor delay on them and they lasted quite a while. I think $8 for these socks is, is a very good deal. So, all right, let's grab those and then let's figure out the tie to match it. I really like the tie I had in the beginning of the video, that kind of, that wool knit burgundy color. And, oh, here we go. Here's the pointed version of that tie. I don't have the pointed version, I have the flat, uh, the flat knit bottom one, but yeah, I really like this one. Okay, so we're gonna match that to the socks. I also like that the tiebar.com always has these pairing suggestions in here as well. And so I'm actually gonna go ahead with one of the recommendations here and get a very similarly colored pocket square for that one. Yeah, I got some cool ones here with that burgundy look. Okay, and then I'll just use the recommendation on shirts too. Uh, the micro stripe. Yeah, that would look good in contrast with that wine, uh, that wine tie. So let's grab that one. And then we need to finish off the look with some pants. They have their 100% wool pants, which I really like. And I think a good one for here would just be a very standard charcoal pant. So let's go with that. So here's the look. And at $98 for everything outside of the pants, 75 for the pants, you're, you're looking at some good stuff. All right, so the next one, let's go with a pink base. Nothing says romance on Valentine's Day like red and or pink. So we'll start with pink as the primary shirt. I like that one. The texture, I have one of their textured shirts and I really like it. So we'll use pink here. And then we'll go and look for a tie. I want something that is gonna be Kind of subtle because you're already drawing attention to yourself with the pink. Oh, that pink uh, stripe navy knit looks pretty good. I love the look of silk ties. I have a lot of these silk knit ties. Ah, yes, this gray one. This is I really like this big kind of chunky mm, solid knit. Okay, I like that one. And then a lot of their ties too. They'll offer different widths too. So, if you need something a little bit wider, if you're a bigger guy or something, you can go a little bit skinnier. Uh, so let's look for lapel. Now that we have that pink and the gray, we can still use kind of a, a pop of color. Oh, this red, this burgundy paisley. Yeah, that'll look good. There's a little pop of color in there in contrast with the pink. And for the pants, I always like the way that navy looks with pink. I'm kind of tempted to do the bright navy in the pink. That might be a little bit too much. Uh, so we'll just go with the, the standard navy one here. And then finish it off with a pocket square. Maybe something gray. Kind of match the tie. Or you know what? We also have that pink in there. Uh, 
Yeah, let's see what they have for pink. Uh, yeah, that white with the lining. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's see if I can find that linen. Yes, I have a couple of these. These are super versatile. It's just like a white linen, but it has the color on the outside. I think they actually make packs of these where you can get, you know, five different colors, but it's the white linen with the subtle lining on the outside. So here we go. So same thing here, $98 for everything, $75 for the pants. Looking very good. And then for the last one, why don't we try a little bit more of a, of a yeah, some gingham. Wine gingham. Okay. So because the pattern is very busy here, I'm going to need kind of a flat or a kind of a standard tie. Okay. So let's see. Oh yeah, I wanted to check out the Abital Barbari Kananiko collection. This is all new stuff. Okay. Uh, oh, I really like the way that the blue would look against the wine. And it's plain, subtle. It's a nice wool, 2.5 inch width. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. Oh yeah, they got nice combinations down here too. Okay. So then yeah, let's get a simple tie bar. Oh yeah, a pop of color on the tie bar. So we got the wine shirt and then we'll have the pop of red on the, I think I have that clip. That's right. Uh, and then nothing too crazy here. I would do solid charcoal pants and to combine, to really bring the look all together. And then I think just finish it off with some matching, maybe not totally matching socks, but something in that color scheme. We have some red. Um, oh, you know what? One of the pairs of socks that I have would be perfect for this. I wonder if they're still on here. Okay, so that's our shirt. Ah, here we go. The pack. Boom. Right here. Now, I like the packs because you get what, three pairs for $20, so you're getting a deal on them. But this blue and red kind of micro stripe on there is one of my favorite socks. And so, there we go. It's a pretty good look. And then finally, my fifth look. This is right from my collection too. Plain white shirt and this kind of collegial uh, red tie that I've used several times, and then a very simple slide clasp. What's nice too about the tie bar is that they offer different widths of ties and also tie bars. So if you need you know, a two inch tie bar or a two and a half inch tie bar so that you're not getting too big of one, uh, those are really good. But then because I'm doing the wool dress pants here, I just wanna make it a little bit casual with the suede bomber. So the suede bomber I had in the beginning, and I'm just gonna bring that over to this one. And uh, recommendation is to watch out for your children's dirty hands when you're wearing the suede bomber. Gotta get that cleaned a little bit. And uh, just, I think a simple look and you unbutton that top button, you got a very good casual look. So there you have it, gents. Let me know what you think about those looks and this format. I'm trying to figure out how to get more kind of outfit inspiration to things because I have a ton of ties and clothing and I want to show how I combine all of those. And so looking forward to your feedback. As always, questions down in the comments. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. The world will never be the same.